Hey everybody, this is Chad Roberts here from RPG Geek, and I'm here with Joe Goodman from Goodman Games, and Hi, we're everybody. doing the 2019 Cavalcade of Games, I guess it were. That works. So Joe, what you got for us this year? Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through some of the new releases we have at Gen Con. Perfect. First is the Dungeon Crawl Classics Core Rulebook, which uh -huh. you probably, hopefully you already own it, because if you're not, you got problems. But this is our new cover. It's the yep. same content. The cover art is by San Julian. Mm -hmm. Some of you may know that name. We specialize in what I call vintage or classic or retro right. RPG looks. This is the same guy who's drawing covers for Eerie and Creepy and a lot of the great Warren magazines, Vampirella back mm -hmm. in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So same content, same game, new cover. Right. Behind that, we have the DCC Lankmar box set. Oh. So we have a license with the estate of Fritz Leiber. As many of you know, Fritz Leiber is the author who has Fafford and yeah. the Grey Mouser, the yeah. city of Lankmar. He invented the phrase sword and sorcery, yep. which is now used to describe an entire genre of yeah. fiction. The box set's finally here. Yep. If you're a Kickstarter backer, you either got it or it's shipping to you. If no. you're here at the show, there we it's go. got a really fancy box. Bam. You get a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Don't download that. That's your download code for free copy. We have the judge's guide, and one thing you'll note, which is true of all of our products, all the art is hand painted. Yep. So you can go by our booth and buy original art. We don't do digital art for the most part, not like other companies, because we like to capture that essence of old school, let's call it, that comes from physical art. This is the judge's guide to the world mm -hmm. that Langmar set in. Oh, wow. I have to show you this map. This map is incredible, not just because it's beautiful, but because it was actually hand drawn and then hand painted. So this is a map of, it doesn't even fit on the Holy camera. Holy crap. This is a map of the city of Langmar. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see here, if you zoom in, there's lots of buildings. Every one of these was individually drawn and illustrated by Doug Kovacs. Oh, wow. Who did this entire map by hand. Now, we are not the first people to publish a Langmar adventure or setting. Um, TSR even did it back in the 80s. Right. A number of companies have done it since. Right. I think we're one of the few companies who have gone back to the original source material. Yeah. Michael Curtis, the lead designer, actually reread all the original Fritz Leiber material about Langmar. Mm -hmm. And he built a map of the city based on that material. For example, scenes that describe Fafford standing in front of something, and he assembled the map based on that. Right. So there have been many maps of Lake Mar before this one. What mm -hmm. makes this one special is it's the first one that's right. We actually went back to the TSR map and discovered a number of errors that didn't jive with our interpretation after reading all the original books. Without going into a lot of detail, this is the first Lankmar map that's ever right, because all the other publishers copy the TSR map. We're the first ones to redraw it from scratch. Perfect, perfect. Plus, it's just beautiful. Yeah. But we're not done. There's more in the box. <laughs> There's more <laughs> in the box. It just keeps going. So we have the city guide, city yep. of the Black Toga. You have another map, which is the land itself. This will get expanded in future supplements, but this right. is the surrounding area. You have the Compendium of Secret Knowledge, which is kind of like judges' rules, the yeah, yeah, yeah. rules options, things yep. like that. By the way, I love this art. If you guys can see this, this is Doug Kovacs at his best. At first, it looks like a bar scene. Then you realize we've all heard of Thieves Can't. You actually have Thieves Can't going on, secret symbols being passed back and forth right. between all the rogues. And if you look very carefully, you realize this bar scene is actually below ground level because you can see a little bit through the window. All right. It's excellent. You have a zero, or sorry, number one, a level one adventure included, no small crimes in Langmar. And then we also have your own judges screen with the Langmar art and all the oh, tables that are specific to the world. Very handy. Mm -hmm. And then some other what I'll call um, house materials, like our right. Game Games is and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really cool. Yep. So guys, come on by. This is on sale, and we have some modules as well to go with it. Perfect. Okay. And then we got, it looks like another, is this a D, another DCC core book with alternate art? Almost. It's the DCC RPG annual. Now, we've been working on this annual for about six years, so uh -huh. it's not quite annual. The, the title's not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> we run on a different solar system. Uh, but uh, the idea is that it's additional rules and material for DCC. Mm -hmm. One of the promises of DCC is you never need more than one core rule book. Right. There's no splat books, no monster books, no character books, none of that stuff. We then provide you with settings and adventures and things like this. Right. So this has additional options, but none of it changes the core rulebook at all. Right. It's additional patrons, additional spells, things like that. Right. As with all of our books, it's hand-painted and, of course, fully hand-painted on the back. Right. We also like to paint the end sheets, so all the end sheets are fully painted. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it's just beautifully illustrated. It's chock full of amazing art, which you can see if you just flip through. One of the Perfect. things we stand out for is having more art per page than, I think, probably any other RPG publisher right. in that vintage style. Right. Okay. So that's and, on sale here. Yep. And then next, so last year you brought us, we talked about Into the Borderlands. Yep. Around Christmas time, this came out. That is true. It's Isle of Dread. Yep. 
So these guys are, uh, we have a license with Wizards of the Coast. They have the D&D mm -hmm. logo. What we do is we take the original TSR module, we study it quite a bit, we identify all these interesting stories behind it by talking to some of the original creators. Right. Then we scan that and put it here, then we convert it to fifth edition. Right. So you get a 1E adventure and a fifth ad, fifth ad, uh, ad, adventure, adventure. Adventure conversion of it. And, and then, then, there's some there's some additional maps. I remember there's, exactly. there's like the, the whole maps you come through here in the back of the book. You have got like dungeon maps and all the stuff that you can get from the original module and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. Those original modules have all these like loose threads. So what yeah. we do is we take this original material and then we build out on it so you get even more than you had the original one. Mm -hmm. So this is number two. Yeah. Expedition to the Barrier Peaks is number three. Number three. When's yeah. that one coming out? December. It's December. The so it'll be another Christmas release. Exactly. It, yeah. It's what you wanted for Christmas, Chad. I, 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 I want your it list. for Christmas. Santa let me know. There so, you go. Yeah. So uh, we got the new one coming out, which I'll tell you after that. We just announced it last night. Okay. So I'm going to lift this up and tell you what it is. It is going to be the Lost City. Right. So there's a number of people at Wizards of the Coast who love this module, who strongly mm -hmm. encourage us to do it next. And it's funny, because when I show this to people, people either have never heard of it or never played it, right. or it's their like all-time favorite module and can't wait for it. Right. So um, it's exactly what you'd expect from a, this module called the Lost City. Right. <laughs> it's a really cool setting with a lot of underground factions competing against each other. And right. there's a good balance of your classic dungeon action, as well as a little bit of negotiation. And mm -hmm. if you play it right, you can get some allies and use them against some other guys and so on. And back in the day, it had what was considered a, a novel feature. The big bad guy is not just a, uh, um, he's, he's a unique monster, let's say. There's mm -hmm. a picture of him in here. And this was you know, new for the time, which was to have the evil Zargon um, as a, not quite a god, not quite a deity, but an evil monster who's worshipped by folks and therefore gains special powers. Right. Um, but people love this image and everybody keeps coming up to me and saying, I still remember Zargon. He was the crazy guy with all the tentacles. Yep. And, yeah. So it's awesome. So yep. this will come out next year, hopefully by June or yep. July. So let's talk about street dates real quick. So right. if the, when they want Lankmar, when can they get that? If they did not back it, they want it on the street. Should be in the street October. Okay. The alternate covers of the DCC books, are those going to be available either on your website or from FLGS and when? Exactly. Stores, uh, basically October is the answer for most of this. We okay. release it here, get it to backers, then ship it out. And then Isle of Dread, you can, I picked mine up already. So yep, that's already available. available. And so the other one is going to be Christmas and this will be next year. Yes, exactly. So we'll probably talk about this next summer. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, we can Okay, perfect. So. And once again, so this is Joe Goodman from Goodman Games. And what's your website once again? www.goodman-games.com. Perfect. And this is Chad from RPG Geek from Gen Con 2019 coming at you. Bye-bye.